We gotta get this lowrider Mustang out, otherwise our shop's gonna go out of business. Yeah, I'm gonna save the shop with this trans. <laughs> hey, you hit my car. <laughs> did it again. I bought a rig and it's a van and uh, it's pretty damn cool. Okay, we're on day one of the process of starting the van for conversion. Uh, I'll switch this doodad around here. Pulling off the fan shroud here to get to the water pump, which decided to just start leaking while the van was sitting. Uh, so we got that going here. Got the good old 4.1 liter straight six. And we'll take a quick little look. The outside of the van, I've already started on some rust prevention, rust repair, repair. And we're gonna go in here and it's a hideous mess. Interior is really straight but it's full of a motorcycle, an engine, transmission, and all this other crap. So this van's definitely gonna look different in the coming couple weeks. All right, we're gonna fire her up, confirm that the leak is coming from where we suppose it is. Get to hear this rowdy old man get going. Fires right up. Trusty. the V-belts off here, a very stubborn water pump, which may or may not have a dent in it now. That's a power steering pump. And uh, got the pulley off here. Good old classic unit with a nice big bit of spillage inside of the pulley. So that's nice and promising. We'll just gently set that down there. So what's the actual damage is the question. Hard to say, it might be spewing right around the seal here for the shaft or it's something dumb up above, but got the new one sitting in a box. We're gonna yank this puppy out. Some of it made it into the trip pan. Most of it, I don't know. Okay, let the gasket sit for a while on the new water pump. Just got it installed now, all pooped up, nice and shiny, along with a nice rusty crap and all this weird emission shit on this van. Go, we got <laughs> 
Hog also. Yeah, my hands are all oily and shit though. Fuck with your back. Yeah, save your knees. Not your knee. <laughs> yeah. oh, fuck. Should we chop the Here, can you, Someone move the hog. Careful, like none of that shit's mounted though. Ben does. All you gotta do is pull it forward a little bit. Yeah, it's good. We might have to chop the top. You get the, this door opens up on this side. You're gonna have to oh, turn, yeah, around. turn around. No, we can chop the top. You chop the top. We got it. I can't. I'm going to hurt myself. Here, does this just screw in? It smells like gas. It's heavy as fuck, dude. Here, wait. Let's pull this rod out. Does that rod come out? It should. Do you have a tippy tap? Yeah, where's that? I think no, there's there. a C clip on there. It smells like gas. Look inside the van, Bill. It's a good one. It's a break it. Oh, it's the first time you saw it. Somebody's seen the hog. Yeah, break that shit. <laughs> Just hold Just leave it like that. Penny. I'll hold this down. <laughs> Is this the weight of a small child? This thing's gonna crush that thing. Here, close the door for integrity. <laughs> It's a unit frame construction. Oh, I need a hand. This thing's way too heavy. All right, John, give him a hand. John, give me a hand. I want the yoke. I want the yoke. Take, take the yoke. The rest is greasy. Yeah, Sleep right. yoke. No, I don't have a rag. Just pick it up. You better get a rag. Just wipe it on the van. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, come on. Right, come on. Oh, oh my hands. Hang on. <laughs> All right, ready? Come on. Wait, I'm laughing now. Come on. <laughs> Here, hold on, let's get the top on. <laughs> Some more integrity. Oh, my hand. Get your hand out. Tom's bleeding now. Oh, man, I'm bleeding on this thing. Oh, wow, this cut me bad. Really? Yeah. Ooh. Wait, Ooh. Oh, The things you do for love, Tom. See, look at that cut. Where's your cut? Let's see. Oh. Oof. Mama mia. All right, let's get this thing over to the van. <laughs> Can I have a rag? I'm bleeding. <laughs> I'm <Thanks>. bleeding. <laughs> I'm cleaning my... Here, take that. Well, I'm already at its wedge. Alright. We gotta ram the old this thing. We gotta get this lowrider Mustang out, otherwise our shop's gonna go out of business. Yeah, save the shop with his trans. <laughs> hey, you hit my car. <laughs> Things. 
toys. <laughs> Put it on that uh, okay? Yeah, so we gotta save that carpet. It's a nice carpet. What is this thing? Toys. Hang on the door and open. Wait, how do you, we can open this all the way, right? Wait, put her in gear. <laughs> is that closed? All right, I'll slam the other one. Well, I guess there's grease all over the toy. <laughs> Penny's buying the 77 in line six. There's my dad running away. Yeah, he's seen the crime. And he's taking out, what is this, Kenny? It's an 87 Mercruiser 260, which is a Chevy 350. Yeah, he's taking this out of the bed of his truck along with a completely destroyed bed liner that came with the chop top. And we're taking this out to put the bed liner in and the straight six, which Kenny so graciously is taking today. You missed the of war half. Huh? I might put this engine in here if it's not broken. You might as well smash the distributor. Doing great here. We're on a hill. It doesn't help. Oh, you dropped the beer. Oh, this is fun. Uh, Let's roll the Tom, roll, no, 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 Tom, roll the gate up. Well, it's hitting the valve cover here. You, keep, you can't rock it. You got to, like, keep constant pressure. Kenny, why don't you just pull this back? Yeah, I'll put, here, put, give the rig a show. I'm pushing. Yeah, don't get it. You can, like, hear the shocks, like... This is a disaster. Motor, honey. Maybe I should put this engine in the Cadillac if it's for sale. This is the chop top rate for the late rubber. There's a rig coming behind you. Get out of there. Some updates on the van here. We got new hoses installed, a new thermostat and gasket, new heater hoses, new lower radiator hose. Got one new belt on, gonna put on the other in just a moment. But I got the fan pretty much back on. 
Uh, just waiting to drop in a new radiator, which should be coming from FedEx sometime today. And uh, gonna start cracking on the next project, which is gonna be the uh, spark plug wires. And I wanna change this valve cover because there's miles and miles of useless junk on it. And we got a two barrel carburetor right here, Carter, courtesy of Splag. Just pulled out the driver's side floor mat. Got the space age material right here. And that is all rotting to hell and will cause massive amounts of rust in my van. So I gotta scrape all this space foam out of here. That nice floor underneath. But I gotta get this crap out in the meantime. We're now unboxing radiator number two. Let's see if this is gonna Ooh, rock auto. Give me those cool magnets. Let me get this time. Not bad. Here's my receipt. Thank you, Rock Auto, for delivering parts that actually work. Hopefully. Let me snips. Yeah, just shit flying everywhere. Don't worry about it. It's like cutting the red ribbon here. Except this is less monumental. All right, let's right here. Oh boy. Okay, we had her upside down. Wow. Check that out appropriately notched and sized so I'm not dealing with that junk from AutoZone. This one actually appears less damaged than the first one I got. Just saying, we got two different plugs here. I don't know for what reason, but I'm not gonna mess with it. Looks like everything's appropriate for putting in the trans cooler lines. All right, let's see if this unit works. We are on one of the major updates of the 1982 G20 conversion van project. Been spending the last week changing the power steering pump here and I've run into a whole difference of problems uh, varying from hydro boost system, which is something they introduced, I believe in the late seventies, but those fittings right there were a pain in the ass. The fitting on the back of the pump was a pain in the ass. I had to cut out the vapor canister and some of those lines. I was dealing with issues on the belt drive and hardware not working for the mounts. Finally, everything's installed. Got the new radiator in, new water pump, new belts. Uh, fixed a couple of the vacuum hoses. And now I'm gonna be filling up the radiator, putting the shroud back on, filling the power steering pump, and hopefully take this thing for the first ride in a long time if the battery's not dead.
Another day at work in the Tony Banana Speed Shop. Ooh Paul's drilling the linkage for the carburetor. Look at that puppy go. Threw some honey on it. There she goes. Nice good hole. It's a fucking mess in here. It's an absolute disaster. Brand new carburetor here off of that online retailer for 99 bucks because it's literally not worth it to rebuild these pieces of garbage. That one there. Gotta clean up the valve cover and get a new gasket on. Still do the thermostat. Maybe after it's in the car. I don't really care about it right now. I uh, got this puppy here. Gotta get a new ring to secure that, but it's pretty cool the way this puppy will work is that cable routes through this bracket here. And then when it pulls, it'll pull this sucker down, which in turn will pull the throttle. And the transmission kickdown cable will be mounted to this bracket here, which will also be pulled with it. So hopefully this big old turd will run today and go for a little test drive and beat it up. Got the thermostat housing out here. Going to clean up this, changing the gasket between the head and the whole assembly here. Got the new thermostat gasket on there and the replacement thermostat that was originally in that head is now in here. Got the head on. That's big news. Got uh, all the connecting rods in place. Everything looks pretty good. Brand new carburetor from that online retailer. Got the new exhaust manifold on, the old intake, though it's old new to me. And then I'm going to have to be changing over the brackets for the power steering pump. The alternator looks okay where it is. And then I got to connect all the hoses. I got the valve cover dry over on the workbench. So I got some of that high-tech Permatex stuff on it. It's like aircraft glue. Uh, some nice overspray on the windshield here. So I'm going to get through with reassembly. What I want to do is clean this up and then get the valve cover on before this gets in the way because it's a real pain in the ass to put it on. So I'm going to get some more of the gasket maker over on the inside of the cork here. And then I'm going to very gently up to spec torque down all of these uh, bolts here to hold the valve cover in. So I'm just going to down through here and get that sucker back on and then get through with the rest of reassembly. I am hoping the brake booster hose is going to reach the manifold, but it's already looking unlikely. So I got to figure that out. And then I need to set up the throttle linkage, which will route from the back of the block toward the front. Uh, I don't have a fitting for the fuel line. So that also is going to have to be figured out. I might have to try and crack it loose out of one of the other carburetors. And then obviously I'm going to have to get the vacuum line set up. A lot of shit to do tonight. Nothing too complicated. It's just reassembly. Uh, so I'm hoping things will go well here. In an absolutely rare moment of working on a General Motors car, especially with a Rochester carburetor, this fuel fitting actually came out of the old Monojet. I, I am stunned. All it took was a little tippy tap of a hammer and that sucker popped right out. Those are notorious for getting stuck in there, so I'm really glad this one actually came loose. Got the valve cover installed, got the thermostat and housing all uh, assembled here, starting to slip on some of the coolant lines. Got the new bracket for the power steering pump, so I gotta change the ones that are actually on it in order to get it up there, make sure the alternator bolts in. Got the throttle cable semi hooked up, so all I need to do is reassemble, figure out the routing for the transmission kickdown cable, uh, make sure the throttle cable doesn't pop out. There's supposed to be like a cotter pin or something that keeps that in. Fill it up with coolant, check the oil, and pray to God. Okay, you gotta admit I'm pretty nervous here. I have just finished reassembling the top end of the van. Power steering's on, alternator's on, thermostat's on, all the hoses, the whole brand new head, brand new carburetor, brand new intake and exhaust manifold. Literally every piece of the top end is, is installed now. I got the vacuum lines hooked up, hoping the battery ain't dead and I'm gonna go for the first trial and see what happens. Fuck. I think that's the wrong key. Hang on. 
No, she's right. Okay, well it fires up. Holy shit, that's loud as hell. Shit, that's loud. All right, we got the van running. It's idling. It stinks like shit in here. Not in red, but it's running. Kenny's the car mechanic on the job. I fabricated a new transmission kick down bracket using the old one from the valve cover on the integrated head. So this puppy will bolt right up to the throttle bracket and then the kick down cable will run through the middle here and uh, hopefully it should fucking work. Thank God for hardware stores.